All right, so as you know, tech has come a long way in the last six months, year. In this video, don't click away yet, I'm gonna tell you the top four lucid dreaming devices. This includes masks, technology, things, especially a couple of things that are very recent, very new. One of them hasn't actually come out yet, which is super exciting, so make sure you watch this whole video. All right, so number one, we'll just start with one that you probably know, and that's the InstaDreamer. The InstaDreamer is this kind of like wristband that you wear. It was a Kickstarter project, it failed, but the idea behind it was actually quite interesting. It was actually kind of a pretty okay idea. It was based around Pavlovian conditioning, and the idea was this thing would vibrate in the night, cause you to do reality checks in your dream, and then make you lucid. The idea behind it was okay, but they ran out of money. The campaign actually had to end because they essentially ran out of funding, as far as I'm aware, and they posted all of this publicly on their kick, you know, the Kickstarter message uh, update board and everything like that. Yeah, they ran out of money. So not ideal, it's a bit of a shame, and unfortunately they, they stopped. The second one is the Lucid Catcher, and this was an interesting device. It was like a headband kind of thing with a big bulky thing on the front that you would wear, and the idea is this would electrically stimulate your brain. It would electrically stimulate you to have lucid dreams. They had a bit of a strange business model. There were some interesting practices going on there. Uh, you can watch other people's videos to uh, to get the, the idea about what's going on with that. They, as far as I'm aware, also stopped. So, so far, not so good with the Kickstarter project. However, number three is what I'm very excited about. In fact, what I mean is number four. I'm gonna save the best till last. So number three is, you may not have heard of this, and that's because it's a professional piece of equipment. So this is, at the moment, uh, as far as I'm aware, this is the almost like the gold standard in terms of the accuracy. This thing's a professional device. It costs about 1.5K, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1,500. That is the Z-Max from Hypodyne. And this thing is like essentially like a professional sleep lab. Uh, but the downside is, of course, it's incredibly expensive and it's not user-friendly, you know? In terms of like the average person, you or me, for example, going out, buying this thing and using it to actually, firstly using it and getting it set up properly, but then actually taking that data and using it or using it to help you improve your sleep, to lucid dream, it's just not that user-friendly. It's quite difficult, in fact. And that puts a lot of people off, but that's not really the, their fault because the, the thing is designed to be a professional piece of equipment for sleep technicians and you know people involved in uh, health and, and properly doing this in a, in a lab, essentially. Not for the everyday consumer, you know, like you or me, basically. So what me and you essentially want is we want to be able to go online, order a reasonably affordable device, you know, under a, under a few hundred dollars, have this thing arrive, have an instruction manual, nice pictures, you know, diagrams, and plug it in or you know connect it to your phone and just have it work. That's the kind of device we want in the Lucid Dreaming community. And I've seen this in lots of comments, you know, you want it to be easy and simple to use. So number four is where things get really interesting. So number four is the Totem X. And I've saved the best of last. You probably haven't heard of this because it's not officially released yet. Uh, so what they do have is an app called Yuru X, and I made a video about that app before. I'll try and put a link in the description uh, where I you know, go through the app and show you how it all works and everything. They've recently updated it. There's new features now. Uh, it's very good. You can you know write your dreams down, tag them, share in the community, share to the you know dream wall and all of this stuff. It's a very good app. But Totem X is where things get really interesting. It's essentially a tiny device. It's about this big, and you, the idea is you stick it to your head and it acts as a lucid dream induction device. It uses vibration and a few very clever pieces of technology, which in my opinion is gonna really change the lucid dreaming community. And it comes with an app, like I said, the Euro X app, they're gonna be paired together when this thing releases. And there is a waiting list right now for this Totem X device. It's only, there's only a thousand slots. So if you are interested, please go and check out the link in the description uh, or just you know Google Totem X, Euro X, and you'll, you'll be able to find it pretty easily. And full disclosure, by the way, I am actually involved in this project as a consultant and a shareholder. But that being said, I do find it really interesting and I wouldn't get involved with it unless I really thought it was a very promising project. Anyway, I will actually tell you one final device. I know uh, I said four devices, but there was actually five. I'm gonna give you another bonus one in a second. But before I do that, make sure you go and download the free app that they've got. It's called EuroX and it gives you free you know, tutorials and information about lucid dreaming. It gives you a place where you can write your dreams down, tag them, all of this stuff. It's very good. It includes reality tech reminders. There's a big team behind this. It's very, uh, it works very well. You know, come on guys, go and, go and check it out. Go and download it. The link is in the description and it's free. And if you are at all interested in the Totem X, which I think you might be, then join the waiting list. You know, this thing has got a huge potential and they've not, as far as I know, they're not gonna do a Kickstarter. 
because they really want to keep this, you know, uh, focused. They don't want to be associating themselves with like the bad experiences people have had on Kickstarter with lucid dreaming devices. They want to do this right and, you know, do this the proper way. And so, yeah, as far as I know, they're not going to do a Kickstarter. So check out the link in the description. And yeah, so number five, the fifth lucid dreaming device I want to mention is the Sleep Shepherd Blue. And basically this is like a head, I think I made a, a video about this before, it's a headband that you wear that comes with earphones. It's like earphones are built into this thing. It plays binaural beats and it kind of lulls you into sleep. The idea is it detects your brainwaves and it helps you become lucid. It's okay. It's a pretty good device. It's very affordable, uh, but I would say it's not as accurate or good as it could be. But that being said, it's available now. You can buy it. I think you can even buy it on Amazon. So I will put the link in the uh, description for that. And by the way, if you want to learn how to lucid dream, like I said, I have free training. You can just click the link in the description. If you've never clicked my description links, this would be a very good time because there's a lot of stuff there, a lot of in interesting like tools and resources and you know secret things in there. So check that out and leave a comment letting me know what you think about the Euro X and the Totem X and really any of these devices. And if there's anything I've missed, by the way, any devices that are, you know, you would consider them promising. Let me know in the comments and I'll try and reply to everybody.